Today is National Hippopotamus Day. So I'm going to be drawing this guy and sharing some fun facts with you. I'm Rita Goldner, author and illustrator of children's picture books and a big fan of wildlife. So I hope you'll join me in the hippopotamus festivities. Thanks. You'll just need a regular piece of white paper, computer paper is fine, and a red pencil, and also a regular number two black pencil. You could also use a black marker if you'd like, but you don't need it. You also won't need an eraser. In fact, I recommend against it because it'll just confuse the sketch. I have a reference photo of a hippopotamus, which by the way, if you want your own copy of this, you can download it, print it from my website, ritagoldnerbooks.com, copyright free. But I take my reference photo and as you can see, I'm drawing shapes on it. And I don't think of them as body parts or legs or mouth. I just think of them as shapes like an oval or a sort of square or rectangle or even lines. You'll see as you're drawing these shapes that you can see the proportions of one to the other. You'll see that the sort of square shape around the head is about a little bit less than half the size of that oval body shape. And then you see that the two shapes for the snout are about the same width as that square for the head. So everything is in relation to everything else. Now I'm just recreating those same red line shapes on a plain piece of white paper. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you some fun facts about hippopotamuses. There's actually two separate species, a large common hippo and a smaller relative of him that's called the pygmy hippo. Those large hippos are the third largest living land mammal after elephants and white rhinos. You'll see on my sketch that I'm going over it with a blue line and you can do this with as many different colors as you want. If you're unhappy with the way the red shapes turned out, you can keep refining them over and over again with different colors. I use the different colors so I don't get confused between the shapes I like and the ones I didn't like. While I'm putting the blue lines in and later I switch to black when I refine it further, I'm going to tell you some more fun facts. The larger common hippo has short sturdy legs to support their weight and the smaller pygmy hippos have longer legs compared to their body because they don't have that much weight to support. Both are gray with pink around the ears and eyes. They stay in the water all day and come out at night to eat grass. They can close their nostrils and ears when they go underwater and the adult hippos come to the surface every three to five minutes to take a breath. This is automatic and they even do it while they're sleeping without waking up. I'm going to tell you an interesting story about hippos that I read in a wildlife magazine. And that was about a group of artists that went on a safari to Africa to paint and draw wild animals. And they were staying in tents at night and a couple of them got up just to go for a walk in the middle of the night and saw a female hippo come out of the water and on the side of the water give birth to a baby. And they all watched it thinking that this happens all the time. And then the next morning they told their guide what they had seen. And the guide said, I've been doing this for 20 years and I have never seen that. Why didn't you wake me up? But the people that were on the tour, the artists, had never been to Africa before and they thought that happened all the time. 
it's actually a good thing those artists kept their distance from the mama hippo because hippopotamuses are considered the most dangerous animal in Africa, even more dangerous than the lion. The weirdest fact of all is that even though the word hippopotamus is Greek for river horse, the closest animal relative of a hippopotamus is a whale or porpoise. And they don't look anything like a whale or porpoise. Another weird fact is that a hippopotamus can't swim or float. They walk on the surface of the bottom of the river or the lake. And if they have a sandbar, then they can stand on the sandbar. But that's all they do. And they duck their heads underwater for three to five minutes at a time, then come up for air. But they're not swimming. When they open their mouths really wide, it looks like they're yawning. But actually, that is a territorial thing that a hippopotamus will do to warn you off because they're very aggressive and they will charge the boat that you're in if you come too close. So the opening of the mouth is sort of like a threatening thing to warn people off. Another weird fact is that they have a red liquid, kind of oily, that they ooze out of their skin to use as a sunblock and it protects their skin from germs and damage. And some people think it looks like they're sweating blood, but actually it's not blood. It's just a skin protectant and lubricant that they can squeeze out of their pores. One last fact I'll tell you is that they have a paddle-shaped tail, a thick, flat tail. And when I drew the first blue lines, I put just a stringy tail because I was forgetting to look at the picture. I found another picture of the tail and I saw that I had made a mistake and it wasn't that skinny. So I left it with a blue line, but when I used my black lines, I didn't include the tail because I had it wrong. When you get your drawing looking the way you want it to look, you can pick out your favorite lines, ignore the lines that you don't like, and then trace it onto a good sheet of paper. Trace the lines that you like. Thanks for watching. And if you learned something about hippopotamuses that you never knew before, and you like this kind of video with sketch along and fun facts, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check the little bell below so you'll be notified next time I post a video.